Welcome to Tuesday's Maths Lesson. Um, and today's date is 07-07-2020. And we are doing something a little bit different again in maths this week. So by having a look at the picture, do you think you can guess what it is we're going to be doing? And we are doing measurements still, but with capacity. So the last two weeks we did length, measurements with length in centimeters. Then we did a measurement with mass in grams and kilograms. And now we're doing capacity, which is measuring liquids in mils and liters. Very exciting, all the different types of measurements. So let's have a look, see what capacity is actually about. Monster Map presents Counting to Ten. Okay, class, let's count these munchkins. Hmm, I can't tell which one holds the most because all the shapes are different. Right. Now let's use the measuring cup and find out. One cup, two cups, three cups, four cups. We measured four cups, so this pitcher had four cups of juice in it. This pitcher has a cylinder shape. How much milk do you think it holds? I'll measure it. One cup. Two cups, three cups, four cups, five cups. Right. So let's compare the number of cups in front of each pitcher. There are four cups in front of the pyramid pitcher and five cups in front of the cylinder shaped pitcher. Which has more liquid? <laughs> the cylinder. Great job! Now let's see how much water is in the rectangular shaped pitcher. One, two, three, four, five, six cups. So which pitcher has the most liquid? The rectangular shaped pitcher. Wow! Even though the pitchers were filled to the same height, they had different amounts of liquid in them. I guess I'll need some more juice and milk to make sure I have enough for everyone in class. Right. So if you want to make sure there's the same amount in each pitcher, I need to measure. I can do that. I also counted all the cookies. You better count again. I think there's one less. Two less. <laughs> okay, class, who would like to do problem three on the board? All right, boys and girls. So, as you can see, capacity is filling up an object with a liquid. But from the video, the boy had three different types of jugs, or pitchers as they called it, um, and they looked different, but they had different amounts of liquid inside there. So we have to measure to be able to see how much is in um, a jug or a bucket or something like that. So this is what we are going to learn about, is how we measure liquids. So what is capacity? Measuring how much liquid fits into a container. We don't only use cups or jugs, it can be bottles, it can be buckets, it can be Tupperwares. We can put liquid into any kind of container, but we need to know how to measure it. The tools we use to measure capacity. So remember, last week the tools we used were scales. Different kinds of scales, but they were scales. So our tools for capacity, we can use spoons, cups, jugs, beakers, uh, there's also buckets, there's lots of different tools, but we just got to make sure that they are um, graded properly with 
the correct level so that we get an accurate measurement. The unit we measure capacity in is liters for big amounts of liquids and milliliters for small amounts of liquids. So it was it's just like with grams, we had grams for small and kilograms for big. So when we're measuring liquids, it's liters and mils. So the small one is milliliters and the big one is liters. Alright, so your work for today, boys and girls. In your quad maths book, you're going to copy the next three slides into your book that are going to follow. So you are, will pause the video at each slide and then you will copy it into your book. You're going to write the date 7-07-2020. I'm going to go through the slides with you. And you can decorate them as nicely as you want in your book. You're going to make your own posters. So capacity is a measure of how much a container can hold. We might measure the capacity of a bottle, a cup, or a carton, anything which can hold something. This carton holds one liter of milk. It has the capacity of one liter. So that is it. It's a capacity is what an object can hold. So pause the video and write that in your book. And like I said, you can decorate it beautifully like they have with colors. You can draw a nice picture of a milk. But the important thing to know here is that um, the capacity is what we measure of an object of a container. Okay, so pause the video and write that in your book. Slide number two, measuring capacity. We use different equipment to measure capacity. So here are some of the tools we use to measure capacity. A measuring cylinder measuring spoons, measuring jugs, and beakers. And what you notice, boys and girls, on, on these things is that they've all got these lines, these gradients. That shows us that they are measuring them accurately. They are broken up into equal pieces of mils or liters so that we all can measure this, a liquid and get the same result. So pause the video and copy that poster into your book beautifully. Estimating capacity. Remember, estimating was that big word that we used in the last two weeks. Estimating is guessing. So when you are estimating capacity, it is useful to think of containers you are familiar with and how much they contain. So we will know that a cup is 250 mils or a bucket is 5 liters. Um, milk is two liters, so there are certain containers that we know how much the liquid is. So when we are asked to estimate, we can give a good guess. We're not just making things up completely. So it's about getting familiar with containers and what they hold. So you can go around your house and open up the fridge and see what bottles you have in there, and they will tell you if it's liters or mils, and you can start getting an idea. And I'm sure in your kitchen, mommies all have a measuring jug or spoons or measuring cups. And you can start to see what, um, how many mils or liters those containers can hold. And you can play around with them with some water, fill up um, different objects. Okay, boys and girls, so that's all that there is for today, is to make those three beautiful posters in your book. And understanding that we use mils and liters and capacity is about measuring a liquid in a container. So have a super day and I can't wait to see these creative pictures that you're going to send through to us. Um, and then I will see you tomorrow for more capacity.